Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for October the 27th of 2019, well, it's titled A Ghost Aurora Over Canada. So what do we see here? Well, this is an example of the aurora, and we can see the greenish glow. Now, the aurora are caused from particles from the sun, charged particles from the sun that are escape at decent velocities and are able to escape the sun's gravitational field, and they travel out, and they can do this in a number of ways. We have the solar wind, which is a uh, flow of particles that happens all the time, and we can have more intense eruptions, such as solar flares, which will send uh, masses of particles out in a specific direction. Now, the aurora can be caused by e any of these, uh, but generally the aurora are caused when these particles follow along the Earth's magnetic field and strike the Earth's atmosphere. And when they do that, they strike the Earth's atmosphere at locations where it comes down close to our own atmosphere. Most of the Earth is protected from these particles coming close to us, but other portions, especially the far northerly and southerly portions, are not. And that means that particles will then strike the Earth's atmosphere and cause it to glow. And much as when we look at uh, atoms out in space, hydrogen atoms, and we see their glow around young stars and we see a red glow, that is caused by oxygen atoms being excited. Uh, sorry, by hydrogen atoms being excited. In this case, in the aurora, it is oxygen atoms in the Earth's upper atmosphere that are being excited, and they give off a distinct green glow. Now, there are other colors that we can get from the aurora as well, depending on the exact densities and the materials. Hi nitrogen is present as well and can give off another color at certain uh, latitudes or certain altitudes above the uh, Earth. But primarily, the biggest one that we see is the greenish glow that is associated with hydrogen. And in this case, it seems to be giving some kind of ghostly image in the picture. Now, although it resembles a cloud, the aurora is not a cloud. It is actually a glowing of the gases in the sky. So light still travels through it. And you can notice that with the stars here, many of the stars are visible right through the aurora. It will brighten the sky, so you'll only be able to see brighter stars the brighter the aurora gets in that area. But you can see stars even through some of the aurora there. Now, aurora are not confined just to the Earth. They can occur on any planet that has two things. It has to have a magnetic field to focus those particles, and it has to have an atmosphere to be excited. So something like Mercury, which does have a weak magnetic field, does not have a significant atmosphere, so it does not get an aurora. Um, other planets that do have an atmosphere, such as Venus, don't have a magnetic field, so they would not get the aurora as well. However, other planets in the outer solar system, like Jupiter and Saturn, do get aurora, much like we see here on Earth. The difference would be the excitation of the atoms, so the colorations could be different. If it is not oxygen atoms being excited, we could see different colorings to the aurora, but the process would still be the same, so we could see this elsewhere in the solar system. So that was our picture of the day for October the 27th of 2019. It was titled Ghost Aurora Over Canada. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture, previewed to be Sun Station. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day, everyone, and I will see you in class.